Hello. Welcome everyone into my channel Saskiano, with UMD. In today's tutorial I am gonna show you how to disable system compatibility report for Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. Before we start in this video I will show you how to remove the warning message that appears when the software is taking off. But if you want to solve this issue, this depends on your GPU. If your GPU has an update you have to update your driver it is so easy. All you have to do is just when the warning message appears click on fix. It will open your browser automatically and you should follow the steps and download the update. Then install it. Now let's move to the next section of this video, the first solution. For the people that they want to just disable the warning message let's do it. Here now we have three solutions for this issue. Try just one of them that will work for you. You will find in the description the time for every solution if you want to skip the other solutions. Now the first solution for who has the latest version of the software. Let's start with Adobe Premiere Pro. Go and open the software. Notice here this is the warning message. Click on continue with known issues. Wait until the software takes off. Now open any Premiere Pro project. Go up here for the edit menu, preferences, and choose general. Now go down here for this option. Show system compatibility issues at startup, and uncheck this option, then click OK. Now let's see if the problem is solved or what. So close Premiere Pro. This message will pop up asking you to save changes. Save or not it doesn't matter. Then open Premiere Pro again. Notice here the software opens without the issue message. This was for Adobe Premiere Pro. Now let's see it for Adobe After Effects. Open After Effects. Wait until the software takes off. We will repeat the same steps. Notice here this is the warning message. Click on continue with known issues. Now open any After Effects project. Go up here for the edit menu. Preferences. And choose general. Now go down here for this option. Show system compatibility issues at startup, and uncheck this option. Then click OK. Now let's see if the problem is solved or what. So close after effects. Notice here the software opens without the issue message. Now let's move to the second solution. This solution for those who don't have the latest version of the software. Let's start with Premiere Pro. Now with Adobe Premiere Pro project open press Ctrl plus F12. Notice that the console window will pop up for you. If you are on PC if you are using a laptop and you don't get the console window when you press Ctrl plus F12. You have to press Ctrl plus Fn plus F12. Now go up here and click on this more options icon and make sure to choose debug database view. Now search for report. Now go to these options here and make sure to uncheck them all. Now close this window, then restart Premiere Pro. Now you will find this issue is solved. Now let's move to After Effects. We will repeat the same steps. Now with Adobe After Effects project open press Ctrl plus F12. Notice that the console window will pop up for you. If you are on PC if you are using a laptop and you don't get the console window when you press Ctrl plus F12. 
you have to press Ctrl plus FN plus F12. Now go up here and click on this More Options icon, and make sure to choose Debug Database View. Now search for Report. Now go to these options here and make sure to uncheck them all. Then close this console window. Then restart After Effects. Notice you will find this issue is solved. Now let's move to the third solution. This solution for who have issues with console panel. Let's do it. Open this PC. Then open the partition C. Then the users folder. Open the folder with the username of the user you're using. Here now you have to show the hidden folders in this folder. Go up here and click on view. And go here and make sure to check hidden items. Notice here this folder with the name of app data will appear. Open this folder. Then open the roaming folder. Then open the Adobe folder. We will start with Premiere Pro. Go down and open the Premiere Pro folder. And open the 14.0 folder. Here you will find a file with the name of debug database. Here an important note. Before you open this file make sure to back up this file in case if you make any mistake. Copy this file and paste it in any other folder. Now open this file. Then press Ctrl plus F. The find window will pop up. Now search for DBA system. I will put the word in the description box. Then click on Find Next. Now you can close this window. Go here to this line. And make sure this word here is false. You will find it true for you. All you have to do is just delete true and type false. Now for how don't have this line here, I will put this line for you in the description box below the video. All you have to is just copy and paste it here in this line. Now go up here to the file menu and choose to save. Then close this file and restart the software. You will find the problem is solved. Now let's move to After Effects. Now go back to the file explorer. And go up here to this pass and click on Adobe. Now in this folder let's find the After Effects folder. And open it. And open the 17.1 folder. Here you will find a file with the name of Debug Database. Here an important note. Before you open this file make sure to back up this file in case if you make any mistake. Copy this file and paste it in any other folder. Now open this file. Then press Ctrl plus F. The find window will pop up. Now search for DVA system. I will put the word in the description box. Then click on find next. Now you can close this window. Go here to this line. And make sure this word here is false. You will find it true for you. All you have to do is just delete true and type false. Now for how don't have this line here, I will put this line for you in the description box below the video. All you have to is just copy and paste it here in this line. Now go up here to the file menu and choose to save. Then close this file and restart the software. You will find the problem is solved. Here we go we are done. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions drop it in the comments below. I will answer you as soon as possible. I hope you enjoyed it. If the video was helpful for you to hit on the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to turn the bell button on so you don't miss the next videos. Goodbye.